friends, welcome back to my channel, Sass here. I'm here to do the season finale of the show that we all love. Life after lockup. Love after lockup. This was the season finale, and they did not disappoint, okay? Even though I do have some questions that need to be answered. But before I get into the review, um, the... Season premiere of the third season is next Friday, and it's a whole new cast. I cannot wait. So, I'm thinking of, y'all know I put up my review on Saturdays, so I'm thinking I can do, I can put it up as a uh, premiere, so that way, um, I can talk, we can talk to each other while my video is playing. What do y'all think about that? I can't go live, okay? I'm not good live, okay? I'm just, uh, no. But I can put the video up as a premiere and, um, you know, that way we can be able to um, talk with each other, interact with each other while, you know, the video's going. Now, I have never, ever done a premiere before, so... I'll work on it and, you know, see what I can do now. What I need to know from you is what is a good time. 3 p.m. East Coast, that way it will be noon um, West Coast. Or we can do 7 p.m. East Coast, 4 p.m. West Coast. I mean, you know, just give me a time down below, okay? Just give me a time down below. You know, and if, you know, I hit a, and if there is a hiccup in the plan, then I will just put up the video um, just the regular way. So, let me know in the comments if y'all think that a premiere um, next Saturday will be a good idea. And if you do, put a time down below that will work for you. So that way I can talk to you guys, you know, talk to you guys. So, let me know what you think about that. So, anyway, let's get into this review. Now, I had a hard time deciding who I wanted to talk about first. Andrea and Lamar or the trio of fools. So, I flipped the coin. And it was Andrea and Lamar. So let's talk about Andrea and Lamar. As we seen last week, all right, Andrea had a brilliant plan of keeping Lamar hostage. <laughs> she took all his paperwork, debit card, okay, and said, listen, you're not going back to Los Angeles, okay? You're staying here with your family in Utah, okay? So we seen Lamar blow a gasket Andrea runs into the bathroom, locks the door. Okay, now let's take it up to this week. This week, Lamar is <laughs> banging on the bathroom door. He had enough. He was like, if you don't open up this door, you bow. So she was like, are you going to be calm? <laughs> let's talk about it. Calm down, Lamar. <laughs> I was like, Andrea. What is wrong with you? So she finally opens up the door. All right. And he was like, give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Here's Andrea. Let's talk about it. Let's try to have a mutual agreement. How about if you stay for six months? He said, hell no. Give me my stuff. And so she was like, I'm not giving you your stuff. Because you're not going anywhere. All right, because she said if I give him his stuff, he's going to leave, and he's not leaving. We are going to make a home here in Utah, all right? My kids and my husband, this is our home. I do not want to go back to the hood of Los Angeles. She really thought that was going to work. And so Lamar said, okay, I got one for you. You think that you're going to get one up on me? On me. He said, okay, I'll take your phone. So he gets her cell phone, and honey, Andrea has a fit. She was like, Lamar, Lamar, give me back my phone. I need to communicate with my kids. <laughs> They're on the play right now. I need to be able to talk to my kids. Give me my phone, give me my phone. Lamar was like, I ain't giving you nothing back. Give me my 
your phone, okay? So which one is it going to be? After, you know, he and and Holland, okay, she, you know, Lamar finally gets his stuff, all right? Honey, he done had enough of Andrea, okay? He was tired of Andrea's childish ways, ultimatums, and shenanigans. And honey, he said, I got to get up out of here, okay? I am tired of Utah. I am tired of the Mormons. I'm tired of the clean, fresh air. I'm tired of all of it. I'm tired of the chitlins. I'm tired, okay? I'm getting up out of here. So, he gets his stuff. Andrea gets her phone. And then what about y'all when Andrea said, what about the kids? I need to talk to the kids. Honey, Lamar said, I don't give a F. <laughs> so he gets in the car. Audra's all up on the front porch screaming, yelling, try, trying to reason with Lamar. Lamar done had it. He was, he was done. He was done. Can you imagine the neighbors? Child, I bet you the neighborhood was hopping. I bet everybody was texting. Honey, I bet you that neighbor was like, Jim, Jim, there's something going on in Andrea's. What's going on, Leslie? I don't know. I hear Andrea screaming. She's not using her inside voice. Oh, Leslie, I'm sure everything is fine. They're just having a little lover spat. I don't know, Jim. Should we go over there and try to defuse the situation? Absolutely not, Leslie. Okay? Absolutely not. I'm sure if Andrea needs us, she will come over here. Now go on in the kitchen and make me some of the tuna casserole. Put extra saltines on top. <laughs> and y'all know, <laughs> now you know the neighbors was tripping out. Okay? They are tripping. So, we see Lamar leaving in the car. He was like, listen, I done had about enough. All right, she is really tripping. She really thought that she was going to hold me hostage here in Utah. Okay? I'm not going to give up anything. I'm not going to mess up what I worked hard for. I'm trying to stay out of prison. And I'm not giving up none of that for some broad. Okay? I got to look out for myself. My question is, y'all, where he going? <laughs> was he driving to the airport? Did I miss that? Where was he going? And furthermore, how old are you going to get the kids? <laughs> the kids got to take an Uber from the airport to the house. Child. Then we see Andre, honey, she is crying. Okay, snot flying, crying. She just don't understand how Lamar can do this to her and the kids. Okay, he's being selfish. The only person he's thinking about is himself. Andre, you was in the wrong. Like I said last week, Lamar has never wavered. Okay, he has never gave you any type of clue that he wanted to live in Utah. This boy is a homeboy. L.A. Born and bred. And you knew all this. Girl, you might as well get over it. Okay? Get over it. So, I don't know what's going to happen between Lamar and Andre because he kept driving and she's in the bedroom crying. So, child, that is Andrea and Lamar. All right? Okay. Let's talk about Clint and Tracy. Now, I'm going to make this real quick. All right, so they had a fake fight last week, and this week they are finally renewing their vows. I will say, Tracy looked nice in her dress, very nice. They were happy. They, for some reason, the producers thought it was a good idea to show these two shoving their tongues down each other's throat. Honey, producers. We don't want to see that. Y'all, I almost threw up. Did y'all see? I was like, oh, dear God. Mm -mm. Absolutely not, producers. We don't want to see those two strong-faced people.
people licking down each other. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. But the funniest part of Tracy and Clint was when they was walking down the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> it's so funny how many people watch this show. And somebody said, hey, Lizzie and Scott. <laughs> and she was like, a uh, wrong couple. And so it was funny. Then a, another person said something like, don't leave this time. I mean, it's just hilarious how people watch this show. But, you know, they were very happy. Um, they are in love. And everything is lemon drops and lollipops. But let's put a pause on that. One of my homie subscribers, Ra Ra, okay, she contacted me. And she said, now look at here, look at here. I want you to see this. So she inboxed me this jewel. Bam. Have y'all seen this? Now look at Tracy. Get Tracy. Tracy look dead, don't she? Tell me that is not a walking corpse. She got arrested, I think, August the 6th. Distribution of drugs. Well, we, we can tell that. <laughs> Honey, look at that mess. What's done happened? We're clean at. Y'all, she got on parole and everything just went downhill. Tracy done got arrested. Y'all, what's, what's going to happen next? Clint's next. Because there is not a doubt in my mind that Clint is not on drugs. So, Tracy's right here. Give it a couple of weeks. We'll see Clint. But ain't that a messed up, mugshot, tragic. Tragic is what it is, okay? Let's move on. All right, let's talk about Latino Heat and Britney. This is real quick, all right? Um, it's court day, all right? As you know, um, Britney is trying to get custody of Giovanni, but she's scared, afraid of what may happen because of Latino Heat's foolishness, okay? So it's court day. She's afraid. She's still a little pissed off at Latino Heat and the shenanigans that he tried to pull. Okay. But she's keeping an open mind. Her lawyer is there to assure her that everything's going to be okay. Did y'all notice that lawyer looked at Latino Heat and said, don't you open your mouth. Don't you have a reaction. In fact, you keep your mouth shut. Do you understand me? <laughs> That's not what he said, but he kind of said that in a professional manner. He basically told Latino, he, you better sit there, shut up, don't make a move, let me handle it. Do you understand? So, they get out of court, and not only did Brittany get, you know, more custody, she got 60-40. I said, okay. So, I'm glad that Brittany... Got more custody with Giovanni. Hopefully, Latino Heat will mind his business. Tito don't have to kill Latino Heat. Brittany and Tito can have some type of relationship because they are Giovanni's parents. And everything is smooth and lovely. All right. So, we have Brittany talking to Sasha. And she was like, you know, what time you going to be by that window, you know, at the jail? I, I need to, you know, do some little Morse code to you. Because Brittany is unable to visit Sasha because she's a felon. So, Giovanni, the baby, Latino Heat, and Brittany show up at the jail. They standing down the sidewalk and they had a cute little banner that says, Will you be um, our godmother? And, of course, you know, Sasha did the little jail Morse code, and she was flicking the lights on and off, child. What a life. So, Giovanni's happy. You know, Brittany's happy. Latino Heat, he done came around. He said, listen, Sasha is a good friend of Brittany. You know, let's give her a second chance. You know, I'm going to give her a second chance. So, He's cool with her being a godmother. And did y'all see Latino Heat holding the baby up? Somebody on Twitter said that looks like Simba. <laughs> I said Latino Heat trying to hold that baby up like Simba. If you don't sit down somewhere. Congratulations.
congratulations, Latino Heat and Brittany. I think they're going to work out, y'all. Good for them. And good for you, Sasha. You will be able to um, be a godmother in seven to ten years. Good for you. Good for you. All right, let's talk about Liz and Scott. This is real quick. All right, Liz and Scott are still arguing on the um, front yard. All right, Lizzie says it's over. O-V-A is over. So Scott was like, oh, it's over. She was like, it's done. All right, I am done. I'm tired of you. You're on drugs. We cannot be together. You're a liar. It's over. So Scott said, of course it is. Okay. After all I've done for you, you can't be there for me. And she was like, Scott, I don't want to talk about it, Scott. So Scott gets in front of the door. And he was like, I just want to talk to you. She was like, there's nothing to talk about, Scott. Move. Move, Scott. Move. Just, Scott, stop it. Move. It's, it's over. It's done. We're not going to get back together again. It's done. So here's Scott, upset, feelings hurt. And he was like, oh, so it's done. It's done. He was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. I did everything for you when no one did anything. I was there for you, and this is how you treat me. She was like, Scott, just move out the way, Scott. Just move out the way. So Scott said, this is what you want. So he pulls out all this money and throws it in the middle of the road. Now, let me tell you some friends. Okay. Now, he has all this money, and he is allegedly addicted to meth and heroin. But he had all that money. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Not one bit. Why well, you got all that money? Okay. It wasn't just ones. Because I paused it several times. There were some 50s. There was a couple of hundreds. But he's a meth head. And he's on heroin. Okay. Alright. So. Lizzie said she was leaving. She walked over the money. She got in the car and she booked. Scott got a baseball bat and started beating the heck out of some truck. Well, I hope that was his truck. Did he bust out the window? I didn't see the window busted out, but honey, he was doing some damage. Honey, <laughs> that is it, okay? Scott, let it go. Just let it go. You and Charlene, just be friends or whatever, Chandra, whatever her name is, okay? Leave Lizzie alone. It is done, okay? So Lizzie goes back home. Um, Jasmine, um, it's her graduation day. Jasmine is a beautiful girl. And so Lizzie is there with her mom, and she tells Jasmine that she went to California to see Scott. And, of course, Jasmine's like, why did you do that? And she was like, you know, I just thought that maybe possibility, that it may be a possibility that we still had something. And so Jasmine was like, and I told you he was no good for you. And so, you know, um, Lizzie was like, you're right. He's on drugs. And so Jasmine said, told you. <laughs> told you so, Mom. <laughs> so, long story short. Lizzie is done with Scott. Jasmine is happy that Lizzie is done with Scott because she can spend, you know, she can have Lizzie all to herself. And she graduated. So good for Jasmine. Yay. So that's it with Lizzie and Scott. It's a wrap. It's done. Okay. Now. Whew. Let's get to the trio of fools, y'all. The trio of fools. So we have Michael and Sarah. Now, as you know, Sarah had already went to the lawyers and drawn up some divorce papers. Michael is there holding the baby. and He drops a bombshell on Sarah. He says, I want a divorce. Now, Sarah gets upset, all right? She is upset because Michael said that in front of the kids. And she just don't understand how this man could do that. All right. She's upset because he wants 
a divorce. You know, she did the divorce papers. I guess she wanted to be the one to say, uh uh, I got one up on you. Okay, I'm the one that's supposed to say that, not you. You trying to steal my shot? <laughs> but too late, Sarah. Michael says he wants a divorce. And so Sarah's like, how could you do this to me? How could you do it to, to the kids? All right? When no one was there for you, okay? I held you down when you was in prison. And so Michael said, yes, you did. You was there for me, okay? When I needed you, you was there. And he was like, look, it's, it's done. And she was like, done? She was like, yeah, because you engaged to another woman? He was like, why do you keep saying that? He was like, we are not engaged. <clears throat> and then he says, I'm not with Megan. That's what he said. He said, I'm not with Megan. And she was like, do you love her? And he was like, yeah, I love her. He said, I told you I love her. He was like, why are you acting like it's a big surprise now? And so, honey, Sarah is all tore up. Honey, she is crying, not flying. And so, she was like, did you ever, you know, love me? You know, and he looked at her. And he says, I'm not in love with you. And he looked at her and he says, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. I don't love you, child. <sighs> Y'all, that would have hurt my feelings so bad that I have this man <clears throat> who's my husband. I have two children with. And I stood by him when he was in prison. Y'all know that she probably took every collect call, put money on his books, went to go visit him. And here he is looking at her and saying, I'm not in love with you. While holding their newborn. I have said this all throughout this season, last season, Michael is trash. Okay. And how cute and sad at the same time when Aviana came up to her mom and she lifted up her arm and she just fell into her mom's arms because she seen that her mom was hurting. Michael ain't shit. <clears throat> Y'all, listen to me. Michael is a piece of trash. Okay, there's no dispute in that. So, later on, so Sarah, she's packing up her stuff and she's saying, look, you know, it's over. All right, I'm going to take my kids. All right, we're going to go back home and we're going to try to figure this out. I, I cannot tend to Michael. He wants a divorce, so be it. You know, maybe he'll come around, but I'm not going to wait till he does. He a grown man. So, we see her driving off. Now, Michael, he goes back home, and he has some news for his mom and Day Day. He is off paper, y'all. He is off parole. Does that mean that he can't braid his hair? Did y'all see his hair? Honey, his hair was dry. It looked like a tumbleweed. Michael, you didn't have time to braid your hair, child. You just let it go. Okay. So, his mom and Day Day are extremely happy. And so, his mom was like, what are you going to do now? Now, he did not tell his mom and Day Day that he done told Sarah that he wanted a divorce. Because, they see, they like Sarah. They don't like Megan. So, he was like, well, I got some unfinished business with Megan. I'm going to have to go and, you know, holler at her. And so they all looking like, oh my God, here we go again. I got some hair or something. Where's that hair? I got hair. Right here it is. So they're like, oh my God. And so he was like, listen, I got something to tell her. And so the mom was like, what you got to tell her? Commercial break. So we have Michael. He is on his way to Texas to visit Megan. The first time he is going to Texas to see Megan. While he was in prison, he told Megan that, you know, don't be surprised if I pop up. You know, that means I'm off papers. Now, on his way to Megan's house, he gets an Uber. He's inside of this car. And he gets a phone call from a woman. 
And he says, what up, Ma? And she was like, oh, hey, what are you doing? And he said, working. Working? When did you get a job, Michael? Do you see how easy the lie just roll off his tongue? He didn't even flinch when he told that lie. So she was like, so he was like, and hey, what are you doing? And he, she said, well, I just got off work and I took the kids to the park. And so he was like, right, 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 right. Well, you know, I'll talk to you later. She was like, oh, okay. Let me rewind that. She said, I took the kids to the park. Very comfortable in saying that to Michael. And Michael received it very well. So got off the phone. Michael's lips busted, face ashy, hair dry. The producer said, was that Megan? Now, I don't know why the producers asked, was that Megan? Megan don't have kids, Mr. Producer. What's wrong with you? So Michael was like, no. Y'all, who is this woman? Michael got a whole family somewhere. This piece of trash got a whole family somewhere. Is it, is it his kids? Or is it her kids? Who is she? And they had her voice kind of distorted. When I say I need answers, I need answers. So, he show up at... Megan's house. Well, I should say Megan's dad's house. Megan is excited to see him. You know, she is, you know, um, hugging him, you know, kissing him because, you know, before that, he had told Megan that he asked Sarah for a divorce. And, of course, she was just beyond excited. So, they're talking and then... There was this big secret. Well, that's it. <laughs> we did not even find out what the big secret was. So that's telling me that either they are going to get a spinoff or they're going to be on the next um, season of um, Life After Lockup. Now look, y'all. I don't know if I can deal with Michael and... Megan again. I just don't know. And then to come to find out that he may have a whole family on the side, child, I will rip that. Child, I don't know if my nerves can take it. I can't stand Michael. I mean, I cannot stand him. So what do y'all think? What did y'all think about this episode? Okay. Who was that woman that Michael was talking to? All right. What do you think about Lamar and Andrea? Where was he going? Where was he driving? Is he driving to the airport? Where was he going? Leave it all down below. All right. And don't forget, okay, to let me know about the premiere. Should I do it as a premiere? All right. Or should I just leave it in this format? And if I do it as a premiere, what is a good time for you next Saturday? Leave it all down below. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. All right. I so appreciate you all. So I appreciate you all so much. You show me so much love on this series. Let's keep it going. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next week, friends, bye.